Yemen's answer a law give the impression that it has an endless supply of drones. The Houthis, as answer a law are also known, appear to be adept at using them, if their claims are to be entirely trusted. On April 11th, two Kasef 2K drones were used to separately target the Jizan Airport and the King Khalid Air Base. The Jizan Airport is a new target that has recently come up in reports of Houthi attacks. The location includes hangars containing Saudi warplanes. The King Khalid Air Base in Asir suffers from the Houthi drone attacks more frequently and has been the subject of attacks at least four times in separate incidents since April 1st. On April 9th, the Jizan Airport was targeted for the first time and so was the Abha International Airport. The Houthis are using their drones to disturb the aerial operations of the Saudi-led coalition in Yemen. Riyadh generally either denies these reports of attacks or says that they were ineffective, while Ansar Allah claims that they successfully fulfilled their mission. Clashes on the ground continue in Yemen, with the Saudi-led coalition and the Houthis fighting in the Madgao district and in the southern Kadha district. Saudi Arabia attempts to dig out every reason why its war in Yemen is failing and on April 10th announced the execution of three of its soldiers for high treason. They were allegedly collaborating with an enemy against Riyadh's military interests. They could have been in contact with the Houthis or with Iran. This is practically the same as Tehran supports Ansar Allah. This means that Riyadh can't fully trust its own armed forces and it could require some help in the form of mercenaries. The militants in Syria that Turkey deploys and uses in small-scale conflicts such as Libya and Nagorno-Karabakh could be potential candidates for this. Turkey, under Egyptian pressure, is expected to withdraw the mercenaries from Libya. According to reports, it will do so within the next five months. Separately, a video showing Turkish-backed Syrian mercenaries complaining for not getting paid after fighting for Azerbaijan went viral. Immediately after it gained popularity, these same militants released a video saying that the news was fabricated and that they never fought in Nagorno-Karabakh to begin with. According to unnamed Yemeni intelligence sources, terrorists from Syria were expected to join the Saudi-led coalition in early April. Al-Qaeda in the Arabian Peninsula was reportedly waiting for new militants to arrive in Yemen's southern province of Abyan to later send them to Marib. Today, many Turkish-backed mercenaries are sitting idly, unemployed. This could mean either bad news for Syria, which will have to deal with them, or Ankara might decide to send them to Riyadh if it asks for assistance.